looks like I can go on a regular walk today. Here's what it looks like. I'm just about done. Um, here's the bed. I got that ready. Took everything off there. Um, I blow dried anything that had was made out of cloth. And it's all tied up in bags. Or sort of out. That's, so yeah. <clears throat> I even blow dried the cloth piano cover. <laughs> and put it in the Ziploc bag over there. I'm going to go for my walk. What I'm going to do is when I come back from my walk and I have breakfast, which I'm going to use with like probably grapes and cereal, dry cereal with nuts, I'll stick all these bags in the kitchen. And then I'll have to stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> and this way, by doing my walk now, I don't have to bring my camera. Well, I might bring my camera with me. Yeah, I might bring my camera. Anyways, yeah, I'll put these dishes away. But let me just go ahead. I can go for my walk. So I'm going to go ahead and go for my walk and uh, got everything back and I'm doing a lot of hand washing because I am not allowed to use the laundry machines for another month until I get an okay from the pest control person that I'm bed bug free. So I'm, uh, <laughs> I've been hand washing down here using a tub and uh, here's some stuff line drying. I figure as long as I am um, just, uh, and here's what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> As long as I, um, since I, it's summer and most of the, the like I washed these shorts yesterday and it's, yeah, it's working out. These are actually my own homemade shorts, by the way. <laughs> so my homemade clothes are coming in really handy. Um, for the bedding, I'm going to see if I can make this last a month. I do, I do the Gale Commandments to shower every day and I, I should be able to wash the pillow covers. So that's good. And uh, like on my eye mask, I dry the clothes with that towel on it, letting it dry right there. And I use this tub right here to hand wash. Um, what I do is I fill it up with water with uh, all laundry detergent, all free and clear. Put in about maybe a tablespoon and a half. Fill it up with water, swish all the clothes around. Then I rinse all the clothes inside the tub. Then I squeeze them, I blow dry them, I wrap them in a towel to dry, kind of dry them as much as I can, hang them up on the hangers, and yeah, that's how I'm doing it right now. It looks like that'll work for me and until I can, you say, why don't you just go to the laundromat? Well, I don't have a car right now, but yesterday I put all my clothes back, and boy, was that a lot of work. So yeah, I I'm, I'm got it. I'm doing the Gale Commandment again. What I did today is I got some alcohol spray and I sprayed my shoes. We still haven't figured out where the bed bugs came from. We've only found two bed bugs, two mature bed bugs in the bathroom. There was one crawling right here on the edge right there and one in the tub. That's it. That's all we've seen. It's a mystery where they came from, the originating source. We don't get it. I even sprayed alcohol behind these frames. These are the Gale Commandments. Just in case, because I found the bed bugs in the bathroom. So I figured, well, just in case they might be going behind these frames, I put, uh, I sprayed the back of those with isopropyl alcohol spray. Um, and, of course, I emptied. The, with this place got bombed on the 27th. So I, that was work. I got everything back in here. Everything that's made out of cloth, I ran under a hot blow dryer. So that was, I have been super duper busy. Everything made out of cloth, I did that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had some shredding paper in here. I threw all that out. Um, I've actually been actually getting rid of some stuff. I hand washed these yesterday. So these are nice and clean and they needed it too. And um, yeah, here's my closet. I'm kind of glad those clothes are in a container like that. <laughs> It'll make it hard for any. I haven't noticed bed bugs anywhere in my apartment. Um, I put everything back up there. I did throw away some stuff up there that I didn't need to make it easier when they came to bomb this place. Because when they bomb, I have to leave for four hours. Um, yeah, he's treated the place, but he's got to come two more times. Two more times. Anyways, um, so, uh, yeah, um, Jesus is the one who said to shove the bed up against the wall. I have not found any bed bugs in this bed. And I'm going to do whatever Jesus said. He is the best interior designer. 
Um, I'm going to put those shoes away. I'm just, I sprayed alcohol all over. These are shoes that I wore up until about a month ago that I bought, bought a new pair. My new uh, habit right now, when I come in through the door, I'm spraying my shoes with alcohol. Yeah, because I'm, I'm wondering if I brought them in on my shoes and I didn't know it. I don't I, I just not, I just don't want a reinfestation. I, I have to pay $350 of my own money to deal with this, right? Today, yesterday, I got the alcohol on advice of the terminate, term, the, uh, the pest control guy. He said, keep the books closed, spray alcohol on the outside of each book, and then put them, you know. He said, don't open the books. I'm going to do it on this row, this row, this row, this row. And then there's some other... Oh, and another thing I did, I mean, I have been super duper busy. Another thing I did is um, in here, I'm a seamstress. I had some material in there. I threw out any fabric scraps that I know I won't use. And then the ones that I wanted to keep, I ran the blow dryer over those. <laughs> so I have been busy. I even ran the blow dryer over the, the, the totes that hold the fabric. See, because they're kind of made out of fabric. So I ran, see the blow dryer, the high heat will kill any eggs. So um, I even ran it over my ironing board. <laughs> I have been busy. Okay. I ran it over, even over my dish rag. So I have been busy. So you, you sh I'm going to show, sh uh, yeah. And as you can see, I got the place looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I, I had the bags piled. I mean, I'm going to have some footage on those bags. Okay, let me go ahead and make my face-to-face -face video now. Okay. So, I have been... Sorry that this is a day late, but it's a miracle I could even get this up when I did. Because my apartment manager scheduled the uh, Terminator guys to show up here. And... Um, they uh, showed up on the 27th and said, oh, this was just to uh, inspect. We weren't planning on bombing your place today. But he said, he said, well, it looks like you got it all. I had the bags piled up in the kitchen and I was all ready to go. And he said he just decided he worked it into his schedule and around lunchtime he bombed the place. Then I went out to Starbucks and had a date with Brent, my husband. <laughs> and, um, yeah. And I'm wearing clothes that are easy to hand wash. Yeah, um, I'm taking really good the fact that Jesus will never come back here, but um, I'm finding the Bible doesn't comfort me anymore since the prophecies have been canceled. And what I'm doing right now is reading from Bible for Tribulation Saints. Uh, and what I plan on doing when I have a spare moment, I'm doing so much hand washing and cooking from scratch, and I'm living like a 19th century woman right now. I don't even have a car. Uh, we were thinking of getting my car fixed, but I think I can wing it with hand washing simply because um, the, the nearest laundromat is a 47 minute walk. Um, if I had a car, I could just drive out and do my laundry, but to be honest with you, I'm, we're still trying to figure out where those bed bugs came from. When I moved out here, I remember I specifically asked my men to make sure that none of the hotels I stayed at would have bed bugs. And they said they were all bed bug free. So I don't know where they came from. Um, I might have carried in, them in on my shoes. Uh, maybe the pest control that comes every month in here carried them in. It's a mystery. Maybe Baphomet, who he's been in my apartment. Maybe he brought them in. <laughs> you know, that Baphomet, that, the one that's not either he or she, but an it. <laughs> you know, we don't know. My husband Brent still hasn't figured it out. So, I do, but I do owe you all a video. It's a Gale commandment. My focus right now is on doing the Gale commandments. And um, if I hadn't been doing the Gale commandments, the bed book situation would be much worse. By getting rid of the clutter, by dusting all the time, by vacuuming at least one, you know, a lot. Um, and, um, I, I actually probably mitigated what could have been a disaster, you know. It pays to do the Gale Commandments. Yeah, bed bugs love clutter. Um, I got rid of a lot of books and papers and stuff I didn't need. I got rid of clothes I didn't need on Jesus' orders. He, had, he had ordered me to... 
It was a nightmare as it was preparing for the exterminators with the clothes that I do have, which is quite a lot. But I had even more clothes than this when I first came here. And Jesus said, get rid of them. Either donate them or what. So I donated a whole bunch of clothes to, uh, um, to like, charity places. And, uh, yeah, that was back in uh, D January, December. And um, he said, everything needs to fit in your closets. Get everything off the floor. So all I can say is if I had not been doing the Gale Commandments, this would have been almost impossible. <laughs> We, you know, with no car, I would have to get the car fixed to deal with the bed bugs because I'd have to be, get rid of a bunch of stuff. And I barely had room to pile up all the bags in the kitchen because they have to treat the whole carpet. So you have to get everything out of your closets, out of your drawers, get it into the kitchen. But I managed to do it by piling stuff on top of the refrigerator, on top of the cabinets, um, even on top of the sink, on top of the stove the bag because everything needs to be tied needed to be tied up so anyways um, I've been really really busy <laughs> really really busy they did scans on me you know when uh, at that time when I thought I wanted a full monarchy and the scan said that I prefer a low effort lifestyle Though I may prefer a low effort lifestyle, I can work like a dog when I have to. In other words, but aren't a lot of people like that? <laughs> I mean, just because I prefer a low level, low effort lifestyle doesn't mean that it's going to be that way. I mean, I can work really hard when there's a need to work hard, like right now. <laughs> yeah, so um, I prefer. I think a lot of us would prefer a low effort like so just because it says I prefer a low effort lifestyle as president doesn't mean that I'm going to be a lazy president but <laughs> besides Brent is working with me and Jesus has made him uh, like in charge of this whole earth and I defer to my husband in everything even as president I have absolute respect for his judgment which I think is superb yeah Anyways, um, I just wanted to make a quick video to let you all know that I'm still here. I've just been really, really busy. And um, today I have still have stuff to do. I've got to spray all those books with alcohol <laughs> yeah, on the outside. I don't want to see another bed bug in here. Yeah, it's a pain in the neck not to be able to do laundry here. I mean, hand washing will work for me temporarily, but... After a month, I'm going to definitely want to get my sheets washed. I can hand wash my pillowcases. Yeah, that won't be a problem. I'll be able to handle that. I can hand wash my socks, my bras, my underwear, uh, my eye mask. And I don't really wear that much. So fortunately, you know, so I can wing this. But it's a, it's a lot of work hand washing your clothes. Because first, you've got to fill up the bucket with sudsy detergent water. Then you got to swish the clothes around. I kind of like do it like a washing machine, you know, <laughs> swish them all around. Then you got to dump all the water out, fill it up with clear water and rinse it through several cycles. Dump it out, rinse it through. I do it in the tub. Then you got to wring all the clothes, get all the water out, you know, and then you have to, um, then I run a blow dry over it. Then I run, bring them through, run them through a towel to get even more water out. Then I got to hang them up. <laughs> uh, sometimes even after they hang for 24 hours they're still not completely dry then I run the blow dryer through them again before I hang them up as clean clothes in my closet or wherever but um, I just look at it this way I'm handling laundry like I do my grocery shopping a little bit every day and I get it done yeah because I walk to the grocery store now <laughs> you say you just, just get your car fixed I really don't, I enjoy, I have to walk anyway to do the Gale Commandments, so it's kind of fun to incorporate grocery shopping. And doing laundry, I kind of like meditate. It helps me to be present when I do laundry because you're, you're touching the fabrics, you're, you're kind of manipulating them, feeling like you're present. So I'm kind of practicing Buddhist meditation tactics while I'm doing laundry. <laughs> so 
And then the four hours that I need to be out of my apartment, I just walk around and go, there's a Starbucks within walking distance, they have a Wi-Fi. I can communicate with my net on Skype there if I want. And I, I order, I have a date, a, a lunch date there with Brent. Last time I got a turkey pesto sandwich, it was delicious. Well, I, and then I sat at Walmart and got my Kindle and read Bible for Tribulation Saints. Yeah, that's my new Bible. You see, for the past 10 years, I've kept a record of everything that Jesus has said to us. And um, he said quite a bit, in fact, and I've kept a record of all of that. And when I get a spare moment, I'll probably have more time after uh, all this bed bug business is done and all the, the f they got to come two more times. They got to come in the middle of July and at the end of July and they're going to, they're going to be, they're, I'm going to have to leave for another four hours. They're going to spray the place again. <laughs> and then I'll get a letter from them saying it's safe for me to use the laundry here. <laughs> but let me tell you, as a result of what has happened to me here, from now on, when I do, because I, I, we still aren't sure where the bed bugs came from. When I do my laundry here, I, or any public laundry room, I am going to put the, the laundry in a plastic bag and uh, when I take it out of the dryer, I'm going to try to make sure it doesn't touch anything around me, put the clothes in the plastic bag and bring, I'm going to use plastic bags to and from the laundry room and then once I remove the clothes from the plastic bag, I'm going to throw out the plastic bag. Yeah. I've learned some techniques on how to deal with bed bugs as a result of my recent experience. <laughs> you got to throw out all your plastic bags if you think anything inside them might have eggs or something. So yeah, so, so since I do laundry once a week, which is a Gale commandment, um, and now I'm doing it every day, so I'm really doing that Gale commandment. So Satan, you thought you were going to stop me from doing the laundry Gale commandment. Well, my hand washing counts as doing laundry, so I'm still doing it. He's trying to get me to stop doing the Gale Commandments. And I'm actually doing the Laundry Commandment even better now because I'm hand washing every day. Like they did in Bible times, you know, or 19th century. Yeah. So, um, you say, what if you need to wash your comforter? You know, when I was in my 20s, I could go for two months without washing my sheets. <laughs> I imagine I could do it again, and it especially helps that I always shower every day. So I go in there with a clean body, so yeah, I think I'll be fine. And then the pillowcases I could hand wash. So, um, <laughs> so I bought a bu bunch of isopropyl alcohol spray. Uh, <coughs> I'm trying to hit any place that could give this place bed bugs. Fortunately, the only ones that I've, I've only seen two mature bed bugs in the bathroom. Um, I mentioned it to the turn, the, the pest control guy I said, you sure the neighbors don't have them? Because I haven't found them anywhere else in my apartment. And he said, no, your neighbors don't have them. So it's a mystery. We don't know where they're coming from. Uh, yeah, Brent's been trying to figure it out. So anyways, uh, I've been super duper busy. And um, I appreciate, I'm going to give a shout out to my friend Susan there, if you're watching this. She gave me some money to move, uh, to go buy new furniture. Well, your money went to pay for the bed bug uh, services, 350 bucks, which is cheap for bed bug services, by the way. It can go up to $1,700. Like if, if you have a really bad infestation, it can cost up to $1,700. And I think one of the reasons it's so cheap is because I'm doing a lot of the work. I went through every piece of clothing, ran a hot blow dryer over it, um, <laughs> took everything out of the closets, wrapped them up in bags, put them in the kitchen. They piled up like a mountain on the kitchen floor over the refrigerator before the Terminator guy came, the, the best pest control guy came for the first bomb. We got two more to go. And um, Brent tells me, he said, Gail, this could happen to anyone. And I'm very clean. I'm meticulously clean, so it has nothing to do with cleanliness. Personal opinion, 
When that guy came over, he said, there are bed bugs all over my town, even in doctor's offices. I think the Jesuits are dropping them off all over the place in my town. Yeah. They said, we know how to get her. We're going to get bed bugs in her place. So I'm being really meticulous now to try to keep them out. Like I, like I said, I'm spraying alcohol on my shoes as soon as I get in the door, even on the floor. Uh, yeah, in case there are eggs. I stepped on eggs when I was out walking and doing that Gale commandment. Yeah, I plan on doing that every time I, I'm going to spray alcohol on the outside of my walking shoes. <laughs> so I don't track them in here. I thought maybe they got tracked in on some. You might say, well, the pest control comes in here and works on your apartment. That They might have. You know... I'm going to do the best I can on my end, okay? The, the good news is, though, is Brent is working on this. And if we, once we figure out where they came from, what you might want to do, Brent, is set up a scanner that detects bed, bed bug DNA and have it destroy bed bug DNA throughout the whole universe. I'm using my Gale Shield modulator and asking it to destroy every bed bug in existence for all of space time and make them go extinct. <laughs> and I'm also, I will also, in case they're being created by Jesuit replicators, I'm asking my Gale Shield modulator, I, I have a Gale Shield modulator that can sometimes empower my Gale Shield to do things like it stops some tornadoes and hurricanes and stuff. My Gale Shield is an extension of Jesus, by the way. So he's, uh, he's way out there somewhere, but my Gale Shield is still working. So what, I'm gonna, what I did is I asked my Gale Shield modulator to destroy bed bug DNA anywhere in the universe for all of space time and make them go extinct. I don't know if it will do that, but it's worth a try, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to... <laughs> I try. So anyways... I'll go ahead and make the video for this week. I appreciate my supporters. I, just as busy as I am, I still have been able to get my daily walk videos up for my Patreon supporters. And I've still been doing the Friday night hangout, though for the last Friday night hangout, I spent the whole time talking to them and blow drying my clothes. <laughs> they were very understanding because I thought he was coming on Monday. And he, he did come on Monday, but he said, oh, I wasn't planning on bombing your place today. They should have told you I'm just out here to... To, to kind of like look over your stuff. But I'm glad he bombed it on the 27th because, you know, you know the terminology, not literally bomb, but, you know, when you bomb a house to get rid of termites and stuff, you know. So, um, because I, I have to wait a month to use laundry. So the fact that he got started on the 27th, that would be a little sooner. Like, if he wasn't going to bomb that day, I'd have to wait a month and a half to do laundry. So anyways, I'm going to be busy. i got to do some cooking today. I make, we don't have a dishwasher here, which is fine. I haven't used a dishwasher since like 2003, I think. <laughs> I'm an old, I do things in the 19th century way. I'm walking around. I could, I, most of the clothes I wear are homemade. <laughs> yeah, I just made a bunch of new outfits. Yeah, I'll show them to you. Uh, well, I'll show one of them. This, uh, I made these. These are my walking shirts. I made two of them that look just like this. This was hand wash, you know. Huh, they don't look bad for a hand wash, eh? So uh, I made two of these, and um, I wear them when I go out and walk because they're really cool. They even have like a, a clip that where I can put it on my sport bra here so, it, so, it, so that it doesn't uh, slide on my bra. And, so I made two of these. And most of the clothes, I, I made these shorts. I have another pair of shorts that are like these. Yeah. So most of the clothes that I wear are home. This shirt I got when I went out to Tasho in 2016. And I choose to wear it because it's light material and easy to hand wash. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've made some other outfits too. So I, most of the clothes I wear, I've been home sewn. Uh, I wash all my uh, I wash all my dishes by hand. I've been doing that for years. I cook from scratch, pretty much. And um, I, every now and then I'll even make homemade bread. And now I'm even hand washing my clothes, <laughs> not using the laundry machine. And I get around and I will get around by walking without a car. Yeah. <laughs> you know I. 
In the 19th century, I wonder how they did their laundry, because they didn't have cars till like, yeah, they had horses, you know. I think they all had washer people, but I'm doing my laundry like they did back then, except I don't boil my water. I like cold water, so that makes it easier for me. I'm learning a system, you know. If you get like a, a dish pan bucket, you fill it with uh, sudsy water, switch the clothes around, like you can put like 10 outfits in there you know, and then, then rinse it out several times with fresh cold water and then you, you wring it, you press it down, get all the water out, use a blow dryer, you know. <laughs> it's working, it's working. I wouldn't be able to do it like with a comforter and sheets though, that's too much. The drying, I could wash, but the drying would be a hassle. Like I don't have a clothesline. Now if I had a clothesline, like a yard, then I could probably do that. I could probably wash a comforter by hand. Yeah, but it, it would be especially, it, only my little comforter, like a really big one. I'd probably just use a dry cleaner. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, let me go ahead and post this video. I appreciate my supporters, and I'm going to be busy the next month dealing with this bed bug situation. Brent has been very supportive, <laughs> and he says, Gail, you've been working so hard. Um, even though I prefer... The reason I prefer low effort lifestyle is because I'm an introverted meditative type of a person and I'm just not a workaholic. I, I'm a, a deep thoughtful person and I'd much rather be doing stuff like writing books and go, going deep into my thoughts than working like a dog. But if necessity expects, if I have to work like a dog in order to protect my people or to, uh, do what is what needs to be done I can work really hard in fact I work so hard that that's one of the reasons Jesus has the order in there you need to set aside eight hours for rest so yes I prefer a low effort lifestyle but I usually don't get my wish but if I get passionate about something I can work like a dog <laughs> um, I'll be honest with you I'm not really a political person and it is true that one of my main motives for being president was to uh, try to correct problems in my life that I assumed were other people's problems, but um, I'm learning t what I do though to, to try to minimize mistakes that I make from that faulty mindset is I, I often go to my, my husband Brent who has excellent judgment and I confer with, that's why I made him co-president, I confer with him a lot and he helps to helps me to see the whole picture and see what's really going on and I don't watch mainstream news it's all fake news yeah so everybody needs to stop watching fake news it'll just get you all worried about stupid stuff just Gabriel China Fox News zero zero on cable anyways I'm gonna go now I got it. I'm gonna make fried rice today I make it from scratch um, gotta get then I'll have to wash more dishes got us uh, do some more bed, bed bug treatments and fortunately since the so far of course it's only been two days but I haven't seen a bed bug anywhere but uh, of course I've only seen two the entire time I've been here and I didn't see any evidence of droppings or skins left behind or anything like that anywhere else so I don't know where those bed bugs in my bathroom came from. Maybe I brought them in on my shoes. Maybe somebody else did. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to go now. I appreciate all my supporters and um, I'm busy working hard and Brent is in charge and he'll do a great job. He's in charge of the world for Jesus along with Buddha and they will do a great job. I'm certain of it. So let's sign out now and get some stuff done. <laughs> Dealing with the bed bugs. Oh, come on. Oh, let me try this. America.
Yeah.